My name is Nadine Gafour. I'm I work at MDA in Toronto, in Canada, and um, we're here uh, up in Devon testing some uh, some robotic technologies for both science and exploration, I guess. One of the projects that we've been focusing on on this trip um, uh, was really collaboration between MDA, University of Toronto, uh, University of Western Ontario, and of course benefiting from the uh, facilities which are co-funded by Mars Institute, CSA, and NASA. So really a collaboration of a number of parties, which itself is quite um, quite uh, invaluable. So uh, yeah, really impressed actually with the um, with the site. I don't think I'd appreciated uh, just how just how closely some of the terrain resembles uh, both the Moon and Mars, different regions, very close to to camp here. Um, so. I think now at the moment we're moving into a really interesting and exciting time for exploration. Over the next 10 to 15 years we're going to be really seeing a return to the Moon and, and onwards towards Mars and we're really moving into an era of robotic exploration and robotic exploration, robotics components supporting human exploration as well. So uh, really testing those technologies. In the field uh, you can do that in the lab, you can do that uh, at a number of different analogue sites. Sometimes you'll use sites that are quite close to uh, close to home, and other times there may be specific reasons for some of the research being conducted in quite unique locations like up here. Um, and so taking the technologies to work alongside the investigators who have scientifically valid reasons for coming here um, is, uh, is pretty important. It's really been quite invaluable the technology providers and developers working both on the academic and the industry side, working with scientists, in this case um, geologists, um, uh, in cooperation with the agency to, to really get to grips with each other's requirements, each other's different priorities and um, perspective and approach to things um, and some surprises along the way there. So it's really, it's really good to be starting to work together and understand each other there. There's a number of things that you can test, even just going out on a traverse um, before you even get to the technology. So you test a number of exploration scenarios, both um, rover-based, uh, take driving, uh, on this case, ATVs out to a site with a, with a field geologist. The way a geologist will take in a scene and then um, determine his priority sites of interest um, and how he's going to uh, um, attack that particular site uh, and then which instruments he or she is going to, to take with them. Um, so understanding that uh, and, and offering the latest suite of tools that geologists can have has been really uh, really useful for both parties, I think. Um, so we've tested rover, robotic rover uh, type scenarios, astronaut driven rover type scenarios, um, and, um, and even astronaut handheld uh, camera based uh, exploration. So, um, so a great number of scenarios for, for just a few days work it was fantastic in really quite unique terrain so um, that was really uh, really useful to come up here we've been particularly focusing on um, some a couple of vision systems um, this time so both laser and camera based systems that will be technologies developed for moon and Mars applications so um, we've seen some really surprising pleasantly surprising results we got a lot more out of this than we were even planning and this was just the first time that we were up here so it's going to be an exciting few years ahead as we uh, make preparations for the next 10-15 years. So good times. <laughs>